Uh, if uh, Professor Dr. Barnd Mons would like to um, speak, and then we, um, uh, Dr. Maweri, if audio be starts to work, um, we'll jump back to you before we close. And for those who don't know uh, Barn Mons, he is uh, uh, with many hats, but the chair of the GoFair Foundation today. Thank you, Christine. Uh, I'm also in CoData with uh, Christine, where she's the executive secretary. I'll try to be very brief, but let me say a few words uh, about my past. I started as a biologist working on malaria. So for 15 years, I worked a lot with African colleagues and in Africa, also other continents. And I never left that feeling that we needed genuine partnership to get things done. And that's why I'm so extremely proud of Vote in Africa, because as we heard today, these things are actually developed with and in, with Africans and in Africa, using sometimes northern technology, but also setting up completely new things, uh, which is really, really what I always wanted. And um, actually, I'm abusing Vote in Africa a lot because there's lots of people also in the Netherlands or wherever, say, oh, this is all very difficult and blah, blah, blah. They said, well, are you telling me that it can be done in Africa and not here? Oh, oh, oh yeah, then maybe it should also be done here, and which is more than just a joke, because <laughs> if you look in the Netherlands now, you see that the Health RI, the Health Research Infrastructure, which just got 70 million uh, euros, and the AI coalition having 180 million euros, and now Pharma and L just got another 80 million euros, they all will work on a fair distributed learning system, which is data visiting. So all the things that we found in, in Voden Africa and Voden in general, and Voden Africa in particular, will be actually feeding into the current health infrastructure in the Netherlands. So I'm head of note for LUMC. We have eight regions and all of them will implement this type of technology that we had before. So then the, other, the only other thing I would like to say, and that's an invitation, <coughs> what we are doing at the moment, we form a new institute. It's not a new legal entity. I always mm -hmm. quote Paul Simon, let's get together and call ourselves an institute. It is not a new institute, but we call it the, Le the Leiden Institute of Fair and Equitable Science which is all around data visiting, bringing as many data together as possible, not together as in, in one institute, but making them visible and fair. And you see here on top that the Leiden Academic Center for Drug Research, where I worked for two days, LUMC, TNO, the GoFair Foundation, Lawrence Center, will bring all the current projects that we have together, and you see a number of them, like see for yourself and talk the trusted world of Corona, all addressing this uh, privacy by design data visiting, bringing it all together. And what I would really like, and Miriam already agreed, but as a professor at LUMC, of course, but I would very much like that, although there is an implicit involvement of Vote in Africa because of CoFair, and you also being a CoFair implementation network, to have a formal partnership with Photon Africa in this new institute so that we can really show the world that this is, uh, you know, you can send an algorithm from Uganda or from Stanford or from LUMC and it actually miraculously comes back the same answer. For us, that's now logical, but most people fall off their chair if they see that. So that, I think uh, this was great to hear all the stories today. Very proud of what this all came about, we couldn't even anticipate this two years ago when we sort of said, okay, let's do vote on. <laughs> and um, I, I think it's it's really very powerful uh, consortium. So with that, I think one of the leaders, uh, Francesca, should have the last word before we close off, assuming that the other speaker is unable to unmute. So over to you, Francesca. Thank you, Dr. Barnes. 